your essay. This route right here, DVs have to roll down it, right? Yeah, you can. You can take that berm right there by the red yeah, right there. I got White you on the backside. White right, roof, yeah, right. over there. Go. Go. Follow me. Radio. Come on, jump. Hey, this track can take me. Covering up down that road. Good. Second gun's going in this berm right beside this white house with the red roof facing down this little street coming at us that we can't really see down. Cool. Perfect. There's no one that way. Oh, but until they uh, start shifting this way, everyone else.
So we're in uh, northern Norway and we just executed an amphibious assault off of the Dutch ship uh, Rotterdam uh, to initiate our first steps in conducting exercise cold response. This is a very unique situation uh, for the United States Marine Corps to be embarked on a Dutch Royal Naval vessel and then conduct amphibious assaults off of that vessel. Uh, no one has done it in our battalion and no one has done it I think at all, ever. And so this is a, a first, not only for the, the Dutch Royal Navy, but also for uh, the Marine Corps, specifically here in the high north. The message that it sends is that we're strong. The message that it sends is that we are united. In these times, that is the most important message that we can send, that we're doing this together as a team. Marines uh, from day one are taught that, uh, are told that we're gonna fight in any climate in any place. And I think uh, being here with NATO solidifies that and uh, nothing changes. Uh, we, we always train hard, and we train for uh, whatever, whatever may happen in the world. For us to, to be able to have that interoperability with all of our allies uh, and, and be a uh, deterrent uh, force here, uh, it's incredibly important. Uh, so all the Marines have, have really uh, enjoyed learning from the Dutch and, and, and learning from the Norwegians about how to survive and thrive in, in a cold weather environment in the far north. Uh, and, and I think that uh, the other countries have learned from us as well. We created this exercise two years ago, uh, and uh, there has been uh, two years of planning. We haven't changed the exercise objectives much. We have stand to. We had uh, enough forces available to reach the ex ob exercise objectives. At the same time, some nations had to deploy other uh, places in the world. That's normal, uh, quite normal. We also had to deploy a frigate to the Mediterranean. But what is good is that we have the command network and available assets necessary to reach our training objectives. What it means for me is the importance to rehearse our plans and to exercise together with the Allies because we need to be prepared. And the most important thing I do is to avoid war on NATO territory. That's my job. And to reach that goal, we need to exercise and to be, have a credible cap capability. So I think that's the most important part of it.